Hey everybody, I'm Rob the Ranger and you're watching me. No, but anyway, enjoy the video. This is the Topi Pride with lots of Topis, all the females. Uh, one of the Bela Shaka males is here, but he's lying under a tree a little bit further away. What are they eating? It's a buffalo. further away. I must apologise for the wind noise, we don't have a uh, dead cat for the live camera. Pride is this? It's the Topi Pride. Sometimes called the Ridge Pride by some people. It is the Topi Pride. Break away from the Marsh Pride. Now, there's only one male here he has eaten already. He's very flat under a tree behind us. You can see him from here. Cuddle under the tree, they leave here and go and drink, and then they fall asleep in the shade. Now they do tend to go for big males this pride. Um, some of you that follow the lions in the area will know that they were on an elephant carcass uh, last month. 7 p.m. in California here. What time is it? 10:47 uh, a.m. So it's tomorrow here. No hyenas around yet. Pride is the Toki Pride. Miles Wyndham is one of the Bila Shakas. Uh, spot in his eye. I think what I'm going to try and do, I'm just going to move the camera down inside the car. Should get rid of it a little bit of the wind. Let's hope. So, sorry for the movement. Let's put it here. Yeah, dropping the camera off the vehicle is probably not the best plan. <laughs> Okay. 
We're not as close as it looks, we are zoomed in. Um, obviously, it wouldn't be safe if we're on foot, but we are in a vehicle. The male has already finished eating. He's sleeping under a tree behind us. with the buffalo it's a fully grown adult but it's, uh, there's not a lot of it left now yeah, there probably won't be much for the hyenas but remember the hyenas can crush the bones and get the marrow out and the bigger bones that the lions won't be able to crush on a kill this big so, yeah, they've finished it in one go. Well, it's not finished, but they've eaten as much as they have in one go. But there's a lot of lions. So, How can I prove it's live, Mike Jones? Because I'm reading your comments and replying to you live. Have we seen any vultures, Linda? That um, There's a couple of marabou stalks, but no vultures yet. But I'm sure they'll come in. We're right out in the open. Sorry. Yeah, the lodge population is going down overall. Yeah, the big problem with poisoning, uh, lack of habitat, lack of nesting spaces. Um, there are quite a few around in the Mara, but uh, they're just not here yet. Are these lions and myself in a private game reserve? No, it's a national reserve, the Masai Mara. Completely open, there's no fences between here and anywhere else. So I'm just trying to get the, the tripod fixed in the right place. 
out the window here. No, it's the Taipei Pride, yes, sir. How is the weather? How hot is the weather? It's hot. It's hot today. Um, it's past 10 in the morning. It's very warm. You can see all the flies flying around the meat already. Neil Jason, is this really live? Am I really talking to you? Who knows? Who knows what's real? And for the people asking, where's the male? He is under a tree, probably 50 meters away behind our vehicle, lying flat in the grass in the shade with a very, very full belly. Prides. Not sure of the total number. There's six, eight lionesses and many cubs. Only one male with them at the moment. Uh, will they split later? Uh, if there's a lot of female cubs, then yes, probably they will split, uh, usually within age groups. That's what happened with the adult lionesses in this pride. The adult lionesses in the pride were born into the marsh pride and they split off to form this pride. Is it dangerous to be that close to them? If we weren't in the vehicle, it would be dangerous. Um, but just hold on, let me zoom out. We're not as close as it looks. See where when we zoom out it's not so close. Most of them are starting to get up and go and have a look at the tree. Anyone had any close dangerous encounters with them? Well, you get a lot of uh, the Maasai people walking around with their cattle. And, uh, they do have close encounters with the lions all the time. Do they have a dam water near them? No, they, they don't need a dam. There's been so much rain in the Mara, there's just puddles everywhere. So the tree that they're sleeping under uh, when they leave the kill has got a big puddle of water so they get to drink and sleep in the shade. The locals generally have uh, good respect for the animals, but uh, obviously you do get problems when the lions get into the people's living areas so uh, we do have a problem with human wildlife conflict in those areas along the edges of the reserve when the lions get into the bomas and start killing cattle uh, then we have a problem so 
Uh, there is a project, if you look on a lot of my videos, there's a link to the project where we put up uh, lights along the bomas, flashing lights, and that deters all the predators from coming into the bomas at night time because it looks like there's people moving around. And uh, that link gives you the option to donate to provide lights. The less human wild. Who is with me today? I've got Sam driving in the filming vehicle and then we've got Jackson and guests in the guest vehicle next to us. Are lions at threat of going extinct? Yes. Unfortunately, yes. Lack of habitat. Uh, Problems with humans, etc. The population is on the decline. Um, whereas a few years ago there were as, as many as 100,000 or more lions in Africa, now there's less than 20,000. Anything that you can do to help the lions? Yes, uh, I was talking earlier on the stream of the uh, Light for Life project. If you go on to any of, not my live stream videos, but any of the videos that I've posted on the main channel, you'll find a link in those videos where you can donate to help prevent human wildlife conflict. Most of them have got full stomachs now. You can see there's very little meat left. Jackals around, no jackals, no hyenas, no vultures, just a couple of marabou stalks.
what season is going on there. We're between the two rainy seasons. So one rainy season's just finished and the next one's about to start. Very few of them left here now. Compared to what it was when we started, everybody's full. Good morning, the name of the Lion Pride, Pamela, is the Topi Pride. Sandra, the Topi Pride, the uh, break away from the Marsh Pride. How long have the lions been feeding on the buffalo? Probably for a couple of hours. We've been here for half an hour and it was pretty much uh, almost done when we arrived. Can you still buy t-shirts and sweatshirts right from the links? You should be able to. Was the Kahuma Pride doing? I have no idea. They are about 4,000 miles away from here.
No, I don't have video of them making the kill. I wasn't here. Um, we were busy with other lions the other side. Didn't know this was happening. Well, Sandra, these were part of the Marsh Pride once upon a time, so technically you are seeing Marsh Pride. The lionesses were all born into the Marsh Pride. Can hyenas eat more bones than lions? Yes, yes, they have a much stronger uh, crushing force in their jaws than lions do, so they can crush the bigger bones. Uh, in a carcass like this, it would be the legs, the spine, and there's a lot of marrow in there, so they'll be able to get a lot of nutrition from that. What are they eating? It is a buffalo. It was a buffalo. Now it's uh, some bones and a little bit of skin. Any cubs in the pride? I think it's eight. It's hard to count them all when they're all on top of the, the meat there. Someone else is asking what lion prides are in this area. So we've got access here, we've got the Topi Pride that we're seeing, obviously. The Marsh Pride are not far away. Uh, the Nkoyanaya Pride are also not far away. They're the three prides that we see most often. And then if we go in a different direction out of the camp, then we can see the Fig Tree Pride. And if we go further away, then you've got the Kissinger Pride, Black Rock Pride, Sand River Pride, but we don't usually go that far. Um, there's also the Paradise Pride, uh, Riquero Pride, they're in areas that we can't get to right now because of all the water. Asking how would tigers last in Africa? Uh, they probably wouldn't do too well. They probably wouldn't do too well. They're too big, too heavy as a street animal. Uh, you know, they, they wouldn't uh, be able to run down the prey as easily. Um, you know, the lions have the benefit of being in groups. Leopards and cheetah are more agile and faster. Uh, tigers 
uh, you know, there isn't enough cover for ambush hunting in an area like this. So they wouldn't, wouldn't work very well. Was this a live kill? No, we didn't see the kill happen. We, uh, we weren't anywhere close to the area when they brought it down. Yeah, the males, someone asking about the males there, the males are uh, very, very asleep. He's not coming back to eat anytime soon. We're not far from the Triangle, I can see it from here, it's just the other side of the Mara River. Um, so it's probably to the river from here, maybe three or four kilometers, and then there the other side. The grass is long, where we are it's relatively short. But overall, the grass is very long with all the rain we've had. Yeah, for the hyenas to be able to take over um, this many lions around, generally you need two, three, four hyenas for each lioness that's here. So there have to be an awful lot of hyenas, um, and there's not even one at the moment hanging around waiting. Don't think they know that it's here. Wind's probably not blowing towards wherever they're sleeping. No vultures yet either. 
but there's nothing really to attract them to the area. Well, thank you for waking up, Sandra. I hope it's been worth it. Thank you all for watching. Wouldn't be able to do it if you guys didn't actually come and watch it.
can see the horn there was a big male buffalo. Apparently I'm not on every day and um, there's no particular time uh, when we've got signal and we've got a sighting. Sorry, lost signal there. Uh, only here for a couple more. So there might be another one this afternoon or tomorrow morning. Uh, and then I'm back again next month. And uh, we'll try and do a few more next month. What males rule this pride? Uh, the Bilashaka Coalition, the six pack. Uh, however, only the one uh, Doa stays with them most of the time. Um, we haven't seen the others joining them uh, a lot recently. They've been off after the Paralyzed Pride, uh, closer to Mara Serena area. And the one male is here, he's just asleep in the long grass in the shade. So we can't see him. Uh, I think even if we went to go and see him, there wouldn't be much uh, to show you other than a round stomach protruding over the long grass. See the buffalo's head it was not a small buffalo at all. Uh, polished it off completely. I think when these guys get up and leave and go to the shade, uh, there won't be any coming back. There won't be anything left to come back to. So uh, that'll be it done. They'll leave it for the hyenas. Hyenas wouldn't eat the horns. No, no. There's no nutrition in the horns, uh, but they would eat the bits of spine and the legs that have been left behind. Uh, the head and the horns will be left there. What will eat the horns are horn borer beetles. They lay their eggs and the larvae eat the horns from the inside out. would it last before they hunt again? Um, they'd every day if they could, but a meal like this could last them a week. It all depends on, oh, the vultures are coming in now. I'm starting to see vultures flying in and landing. Let me just zoom out. You should be able to see them in the background. There, there you can see them flying in the background. The vultures start coming in like that. That might attract some hyenas. But they're landing quite far away. They don't want to come and take on the lions. They'll land and they'll sneak in. They'll walk through the long grass and get here. How many in the pride? I think it's 16, 20, something like that. Um, I'm not actually sure. I haven't seen them for a while. I'm not sure of their total numbers. Somebody else that follows them that's watching might be able to uh, tell us. Have the Bielashaka lost one of their coalition partners? We don't know. We don't know. We can't get to the area where he had a fight. We do know the vets checked him over after the fight and said that uh, there's no reason he shouldn't survive as long as he gets food. But we don't know if he's been feeding. We can't get there. It's too wet. Uh, he hasn't been to the side that we can get to. Um, so we, we may not know for certain for another few weeks. But uh, he certainly hasn't been seen. But neither has the pride that he stays with. So... It's not necessarily a worry, but 
and until the roads dry out we will not know. Can I get a close up? We were close up, I just zoomed out to show you the vultures. Let's go back in. There you go. With most of the lions leaving here, um, it's getting quite hot. We're going to start to move on ourselves in the next couple of minutes. So, any last questions before we go? questions in that case we're going to sign off hopefully we'll find something else in the next uh, drive or two to show you to have a good day or good evening everybody thank you very much for joining
Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, ding the bell, buy the t-shirt, do all the YouTube stuff. See you next time. Thank you. So here's a couple of links to more videos on my channel that you might want to check out. Also the social networks. You can follow me there for live updates, pictures, etc. from Safari.